Hello, my name is Khalil Gay, and I have the pleasure to sit with Ms. Awo Faliba, Plan International Representative in Togo. Welcome, Ms. Ba. Thank you very much, Mr. Gay. I'm really delighted to be with you. Thank you so much. So, what is the main aim of this fourth edition of the Girls' Summit in Togo? The Global Girls' Summit is an opportunity to put together young girls, girls' leaders, with decision makers, with supporters of gender equality and specifically girls' leadership. It occurs every 11th of October around the celebration of the International Day of the Girl and it is one um, pillar of Plan International global campaign Girls Get Equal which aims to give more light to girls and their reality and the idea is that we believe that girls have the power, but we need to create the condition so that they can fulfill their dreams and really contribute to the society. Right. So is this the first uh, time this, this uh, global summit is celebrated in Africa? If so, uh, why Togo? Yes, indeed, it's a great uh, honor for us to host this Global Girls Summit in Togo. Togo is a country really leading equality. We even have an hashtag, Togo Leads Equality because there is so many positive advancements of women's rights and girls' rights in this country that it was important to have this event here to showcase the great progress that the government of Togo is doing. You know, in Togo we have female prime minister, female at the president of National Assembly, female leading the local government um, uh, movement, and 35% of the government is women. It is one of the countries in the world where women in high-level positions are really there and taking the lead. So it's a good inspiration for girls all over the world that it is possible in an African country to be at this stage of advancement of girls' rights and women leadership. This summit was marked by the presence of a National Assembly President of Togo, a woman, and also by the presence of uh, the First Lady of Burkina Faso. What does that mean for the girls? I think that means they are taken seriously because this is an intergenerational space. This is a multi-stakeholder space and this is a multicultural space. Having the First Lady of Burkina Faso who is a champion for equality and specifically for all related to bodily autonomy, it's a great message to girls that they are taken seriously and that elders, generations before them are really uh, there to support them and continue opening the path for they to express themselves what they want, what they need, and their own power. Can you assess the girls' participation? So, indeed, we did an, uh, an appeal. So, girls from all over the world uh, applied to be there, and uh, especially girls' leaders from West Africa and Central Africa, um, working with Plan International offices in these different areas, but also with all our partners. You know, we are working with UNSF, UNFPA. We are partnering here in Togo with three wonderful girls-led organizations, Youth Panel, Girls Motion, and Alafia Jeune, and they were really um, leading the process and seeing who they want to be here in this uh, meeting. So we have around 20 nationalities attending physically to this summit, and we have almost 50 uh, different countries represented online uh, with, during this summit. And I think uh, it really shows that, you know, equality and girls' leadership is something which is universal. But we have the capacity to reflect about it locally with our different reality, with our different culture. And it was really powerful to see how bold those girls are. Yeah, For Plan International, it is critical to catalyze these type of events and ensure that girls have the voice. And any time we organize it, we are impressed. We are impressed because what they are saying is really rooted in their daily life. So it is absolutely pertinent what they are proposing. And also by their boldness, they are able to articulate it so well, but being straight to the point and, and you know, requesting and demanding what they need. And it is wonderful for our generation to see that the next generation is so ready for change and is ready to be part of it and also impatient. They now want people to act and they are really vocal about it. So uh, what do you expect after this summit of, uh, as a transformation or change in girls' lives? 
You know, this summit is part of a long process that uh, ideally will lead to full equality and full girl leadership promotion all over the world. You've seen yesterday that there is already some commitment. The government of Togo made some commitment and uh, the leadership of the Ministry of Social Affairs in terms of having uh, more girls in, in, uh, in, in leadership. The, the, the ECOWAS uh, Commissioner uh, for Gender also made a commitment and announced that ECOWAS is ready to open a parliament, a youth parliament, uh, that will advise ECOWAS and that will be part of the decision making. So we do expect on one side key decisions from African leaders that are hosting this summit. Uh, and we also expect that girls all over the world will continue to be inspired by the wonderful leaders that they send that here as delegates. And we, Plan International and other international development partners and all the sectors, including private sectors, will have real responses on the daily life, on education, on employment, on bodily uh, autonomy, and on protection for girls in the real life and on social media in the virtual life. So their voices will be heard? Yes, indeed. We hope that we will continuously put light on their reality, on their potential, and that people will hear them, mm -hmm. but also will work with and for them. Can we say that uh, chances are coming uh, for their equality? We do believe we are there. We do believe the girls we are working with age between 0 to 24 are the generation with boys that will bring equality and that's why Plan International is really keen of using this expression of generation equality which makes really sense. This is the generation that will bring change and this is the generation we believe will bring equality. Thank you so much. You're welcome.